on online course development for Swayam. Greetings to everyone and a very warm welcome once again. This MOOC is being offered jointly by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University, Hyderabad, and the Commonwealth Educational Media Center for Asia, SEMCA, New Delhi. As all of us are aware, Swayam is the platform for massive open online courses or MOOCs, an initiative launched by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. Given the disruption in education caused by the pandemic, as well as the increasing recognition and importance of the relevance of online and flexible modes of learning today, as envisaged by the National Education Policy 2020, it is critical to have such programs to create awareness and build capacities on how to design and develop quality online courses as per the Swayam guidelines. So this MOOC, it attempts to address this need. As mentioned earlier, this MOOC is being offered in partnership between Senka and Prao. This initiative could be actualized due to the vision and the leadership of Professor Madhu Parhar, Director Semka, and Professor Sita Ramarao, Vice Chancellor of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University, Hyderabad. This MOOC at Brow is being offered by the Center for Staff Training and Development under the able leadership of Professor Ghanta Chakrapani and his team there. Uh, Professor Rabindranath Solomon at Brow is coordinating the course. So welcome uh, Professor Ghanta Chakrapani to this session and Dr. Solomon, welcome. It gives me immense pleasure to note that more than 1800 participants have registered for this MOOC from multiple disciplines. So we have with us participants from the science, technology and mathematics disciplines, from the entire spectrum of the social science disciplines, from education, from management and several other subjects. They have all come forward to register in this MOOC. It is very encouraging to note that and we look forward to a very enriching learning journey together. It is now my privilege to welcome all the faculty experts who have contributed towards course design development and who would be mentoring the participants during this two week offering. We have with us uh, Dr. Manas Ranjan Panigrahi, Senior Program Officer at Senka. Uh, welcome Dr. Panigrahi. We have Professor Oniban Ghosh, uh, Director of the Central Center for Internal Quality Assurance at Netaji Shubhash Open University, Kolkata. Uh, welcome, Professor Ghosh. We have Dr. Maithili, who is the Deputy Director at Stride, Indira Gandhi National Open University, IGNO. We have Dr. Ashish Kumar Avdhya with us who is the Assistant Director, Training and Development, Center for Online Education at IGNO. We have Dr. Jitendra Pandey, Associate Professor from the School of Computer Science at Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. So each of the faculty experts have contributed their insights and experience towards course development and offering, and we welcome them here. So with this background, let me just provide a very brief outline and on how the session is structured. So what happens next is, uh, I would like to request each of the course mentors to once again, briefly introduce themselves and their role in the program so that we have this interaction with the participants. 
and to share their reflections and experiences on course development and course offering and their expectations from this program. After that, I would be requesting Dr. Pandey for a presentation on the overall course structure, the course certification criteria, and a demonstration on how to navigate the course platform. After this, Professor Ghanta Chakrapani would be requested to kindly address a few words to the participants as we move ahead with this course. So with that, let me now request uh, Dr. Manas Ranjan Panigrihi to speak and address the participants, please. Dr. Manas Ranjan Panigrihi. Thank you very much. Uh, very good morning to all of you. Mm, thanks, Stephen, for uh, introducing and uh, taking uh, a step ahead to this course and uh, connecting with uh, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University. And uh, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University uh, owned this course and understand uh, its uh, importance and uh, under the able leadership of uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor uh, Sitarama Rao, and uh, the uh, task force drive of uh, the leadership of uh, Professor Ghanta Chakrapani and uh, uh, his colleague, uh, Dr. Ravindranath Sulaman. And uh, thank you very much joining hands with SEMCA and uh, moving together to reach to um, the milestone, which is the common interest and agenda for SEMCA and Open University. And uh, um, before moving to um, the, uh, what is my role, I just uh, wanted to let you know that this uh, course, uh, uh, we had, uh, um, rigorous discussion how we can uh, reach to uh, unreached providing better learning opportunity and providing access to better learning materials um, at SEMCA we discussed uh, during the pandemic period and during that pandemic period uh, uh, what we understand and come to know that government of India is uh, looking for to host more than 10,000 MOOCs uh, to provide better learning opportunity through Swayam platform and Swayam Prabha platform. And um, when we uh, look, this is as an opportunity for SEMCA and SEMCA has the responsibility to provide uh, adequate support to government of India as within the mandate of SEMCA and Commonwealth of Learning. And uh, uh, under the able leadership of uh, SEMCA director, Professor Madhu Parar, and we conceived this uh, idea that uh, why not we can have a MOOC which can provide uh, training support to our higher education teachers and uh, stakeholders who can be uh, contribute to um, Swayam for as a course which can be reached to our learners. So uh, within this and again, the, the step we moved to identify the resource persons who can uh, uh, able to design and develop this course. And uh, really we are uh, great enough to um, having with us, uh, Professor Anirvan Ghosh, Dr. Maithili, Dr. Jitendra Pandey, uh, Dr. Asi Savadhyaya, and uh, our um, former colleague and uh, late uh, um, Dr. Nisasi. And uh, um, we all together uh, um, planned rigorously and uh, um, come out with this course. Myself, uh, um, uh, the contribution towards this course is uh, coordinating this course design and development and uh, um, prepared few modules as well as uh, giving my inputs to uh, come out with uh, this course and 
liaising with uh, Netaji Subhas Open University as well as uh, Uttarakhand Open University to host this course. And uh, I'm happy to inform you that the five cycles of this course has been offered by Netaji Subhas Open University and Uttarakhand Open University. So um, uh, we got a uh, good response and uh, the output and outcome of the course really uh, noticeable and uh, remarkable. And where uh, the maximum participants, not just contributing towards the Swayam platform, but also they are motivating others to come contribute towards the Swayam, Swayam platform. At the same time, uh, they are also designing, developing their own online courses to offer to their learners. So uh, this is a good thing. In this cycle, I will be one of the mentor for this course and uh, along with my colleagues uh, here, those who joined as course developer. And uh, uh, I'm happy that 1800 uh, participants who enrolled to this course, definitely they will get benefited and we will uh, extend our support through online as well as through live session. Thank you, Shifan, giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts over here and uh, over to you, Shifan. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Manas, uh, for your words of uh, and your reflections, brief reflections on the course, the prior experiences and your hope and expectations for a very exciting and useful learning journey in this offering of the course. Thank you so much. Uh, may I now request uh, Professor Onivan Ghosh, uh, from NSOU Kolkata to kindly address a few words. Professor Ghosh, please. Actually, I am uh, traveling to my office, so I am trying to say something. Good morning, everyone. Okay. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, sir, you're audible. Good morning. A very good morning and welcome. And thank you for taking the time to join. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Dignitary is present in the digital platform, the participants, the organizers, Professor Sitaramara, Honorable Vice Chancellor of PR Ambedkar University, Dr. Chakrapani, Dr. Pani Grahi, Dr. Sikmanchi, and other participants. Uh, it is a good initiative that PR Ambedkar of University is offering this course to cater the needs of the hour because all of us are concerned about the online education, but how the content will be developed, which will feed to the online education. And this, this is actually initiative of SEMCA. SEMCA took the initiative to develop the model that how the e-content is to be developed. That is the motor objective of the SEMCA. And SEMCA, with the help of SEMCA, the experts like Dr. Moithini, Dr. Jitendra Pandey, and myself were involved in this process. So we developed the modules, both audio video lectures and the e text, which are the pre requirement of any online course. And as you know, the Swayam follows a four quadrant approach. And there are four quadrants that is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. All the quadrants have been dealt in this particular MOOC course, Massive Open Online course. And as Dr. Panigrahi pointed out, that uh, the of University has already offered three cycles, and we trained about 700 teachers in this region and the participants were not only from the state of West Bengal, but also Delhi, uh, Northeast regions. So since this is an online course, so the there is no boundary to take up the course. But our objective, that is the mentor's objective, 
are to train or to orient the teachers who can contribute to these online programs. This is our motto. So our expectation is that after successful completion of this particular two-week move, you will be able to develop the e-content. E-content is required to be developed as per SOIAM guideline. And if you follow the SOIAM guideline, you can approach SOIAM board to accept it, or you can also offer the same content, same material in your institutional LMS learning manual. There will be two objectives. After So I, I think we will uh, wait for uh, Professor Kush to reconnect. Uh, what was very concisely pointed out, I feel, was the need, the expectation that at the end of the course, the faculty members would be able to design, develop, and offer e-content. Professor Ghosh, uh, please continue, sir. It was I think it was disconnected. Yeah, yeah. What, what I'm trying to say that the participants can be engaged in this particular course to know how to develop the e-content. That is our motto. And we, the mentors, will remain present in the discussion forum to satisfy your queries and needs. So that is all for today. Thank you. Actually, I'm traveling. Sometimes it is being disconnected. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. What to ma'am? Thank you. Thank you, Professor Ghosh. So thank you for that very concise way of putting the expectation from the program that at the end of the course, all the participants should be able to design and develop online courses as per the SWAYAM guidelines. So thank you once again, Professor Ghosh for describing your contribution to the program and the expectations in the next two weeks. Uh, may I now request uh, Dr. Maithili, uh, Deputy Director Stride at IGNO, to kindly address a few words. Dr. Maithili, please. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am on move. So uh, uh, I'll take very uh, little while and I will discuss uh, with the class which we will take care. And I'm very much pleasure to um, participate in this program as a panelist. And also I'll thank uh, uh, the Vice Chancellor of BR Open University and Professor Madhu Prakar Samka Director and my, all my uh, team members of this program. So uh, we have shared our experience while developing this program, as Dr. Manas said that, then we have developed the all the four quadrant, uh, content for all the four quadrant. And myself, I have contributed to the quadrant four, that is assessment, uh, uh, how to develop the assessment for the MOOC program. So for that, we have developed the content and then kept in that uh, the platform. So, first of all, I request all the participants to go through all the content, uh, which is, will be the video content and also text content, and request to participate in the discussion forum, which is very important, to share, the, uh, share their knowledge as well as the, what are the challenges and the issues they have faced during this um, uh, course. So, that will be the very much uh, useful or, for us also as a panelist or as a course uh, mentor for this course, we can also um, um, get benefited of uh, from that as well as the we can also contribute whatever they are requirement. 
the, as Professor Nurban said that the output of this program, the expectation of this program is that, uh, that our participants able to develop their proposal for developing the SOIAM courses. Um, so in IGNO, I think uh, Dr. Asish can also um, update in on this. IGNO also one of the national coordinator where uh, the participa participant can uh, submit their proposal to offer the SOIAM courses. In this, I'll, I'll uh, welcome all the participants to this program. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Maitili. Thank you for your words of uh, encouragement and inspiring the participants to actively engage in the discussion forum to present their learning, their challenges, so as to further enrich the course experience and interaction among the mentors and the participants. And of course, the point about being able to prepare a course proposal for Swayam and submit it after this training during the MOOC is very well appreciated and emphasized. Thank you so much, Dr. Maithili. May I now request Dr. Ashish Kumar of the Assistant Director at the Center for Online Education, IGNO, to kindly address a few words. Dr. Ashish, please. Yeah. Thank you very much, ma'am, and good morning to you all. Honorable Vice Chancellor BRAU, Dr. Uh, Respected Director Simka, Professor Madhun Kahar, Madam, Professor Chakrapani, Sir, Dr. Solomon, Dr. Manas from Simka, Dr. Anirvan Ghosh, Dr. Jitendra Pandey, Dr. G. Metli, Dr. Shifon, and all my respected participants. First of all, I would like to thank you for uh, keeping me uh, in your team. Thank you very much for this. And uh, my name is Ashish Kumar Avadhyay. I am working as a assistant director at Center for Online Education at Indra Gandhi National Open University. And as Dr. Metli said that we are one of the national coordinator of Swayam MOOCs and uh, at the Center for Online Education, uh, COE, we are currently offering around uh, 150 plus uh, 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 online courses, MOOCs, and which are uh, uh, broadly ac accepted by many open, many universities uh, uh, across India for credit transfer. And I would like to congratulate BRAU, uh, BRAU uh, uh, for uh, offering this course and this course is, uh, I have seen this course since the last five, six runs and it is attracting lot many uh, participants. And uh, I would say that uh, from all the participants that Swayam is, you know, Swayam is right now is a need of our, it's supported by the government and it is being also funded by the government. Many regulatory guidelines are supporting Swayam. So I request you to uh, what my uh, request you to be participate in this course and take more uh, active participation in the discussion forum so that you can have a great learning experience in this. So with all these, uh, I would again like to congratulate you for uh, this course. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ashish Kumar Avdhya for your words of encouragement and congratulations. Thank you so much. All of us hope to benefit from your mentoring over the next two weeks. Okay, may I uh, now request Dr. Jitendra Pandey uh, from Uttarakhand Open University to kindly address a few words. And after that, may I request Dr. Pandey to please uh, provide the outline of the course the course certification criteria, as also to guide us on how to navigate the course platform. Dr. Pandey, please. Professor Chakrapani, Dr. Shifon, mentors of this FDP program and all the participants of this two week FDP program on developing online courses for Swayam. Let me take this opportunity to thank Honorable Vice Chancellor of BRAOU for providing me this opportunity to be the part of this wonderful team. I'm Dr. Jitendra Pandey, working as an associate professor at Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. And I have been fortunate enough to be the part of the development team and have mentored two cycles of this program for UOU 
and two cycles for NSOD. Currently, I am course coordinator for two MOOCs offered through Swayam. One is on cybersecurity, which was launched in 2019, and this is the sixth cycle of that course. More than 60,000 learners have enrolled in this course in six cycles. The second MOOC is on digital forensics, which is recently launched and is currently open for enrollment. As Dr. Manas pointed out, Swayam requires more than 10,000 courses in the near, near future, and these courses are to be developed by the teachers of higher education institutions. This, uh, this course, this FDP program is basically designed for creating awareness about developing online courses for Swayam, as well as your own institutional elements. The real success of this course is when each one of you develop a course proposal and submit it to the national coordinator. I am also providing the platform related technical support for this program. So let me introduce you to this platform. Uh, I request uh, Dr. Chiffon to kindly permit me to share my screen. Yes, Dr. Pandey, that is done. Thank you. I hope my screen is visible. Yes, we can see your screen. Okay, so as you all know that this online FDP program, two week online FDP program is jointly offered by SEMCA and BRAOU. So these are some of the learning outcomes. You will be able to describe online education and SWAYAM you will be able to prepare proposal for the course development for Swayam. And you will be able to, you know, have a better understanding of all the four quadrants of an online course. Uh, who should participate? Anyone who is interested in learning and want to develop Online course, I mean, he, he can be a, from, uh, you know, uh, a teacher who is uh, teaching in KG to PG. Anyone who is interested in developing online course should participate in this program. So these are the course details. The length of the course is two weeks. Estimated workload is three to five hours per week. It is a non-credit course, which is offered in English. So this is the week-wise breakup. Basically, in the first week, we'll give you the overview of SWAM and we'll address first and the second quadrant. And uh, after each module, we'll have one quiz. So two quizzes in first week and two quizzes in second week. In second week, we'll address third and the fourth quadrant. Every week, we have a live session also. And in the, uh, at the end of the second week, we'll distribute certificate online to the eligible candidates. So what is the criteria for certificate? The first criteria is as soon as you land on the you know, course page, you will find discussion forum link here. You click on this. So you have to participate, compulsorily participate in the discussion forum. You can generate a new thread. Also, you can respond to the queries or you can respond to the uh, thread generated by other participants. So there are total four quizzes. You have to attempt all the four quizzes and score more than 60%. And in case you are not able to 
score 60% in the first ten attempt, you can take another attempt. So there are unlimited attempts to clear the quiz. And until and unless you score 60% or more, certificate will not be issued. Apart from that, you have to participate in the live sessions and fill the feedback form. Once all these four you know, steps are complete, then only you will be able to complete this. You, you will be able to download the certificate, right? So this is the discussion forum link. Uh, this course can also be accessed on your smartphone through an app. So what you have to do is you ju just download this Moodle app from Play Store and install it on your smartphone. Once you install it and you open it, it will ask for the site name. So you have to mention this site name, elearning2.uou.ac.in. Once you enter the site, it will ask for your username. Your username is your email ID and default password is capital X, Y, Z at the rate one, two, three, four, five. This is same for portal as well as app. So after doing this, you can access this course on your smartphone through app also. So this is how this Moodle app looks like. You install it and then you can exit, access it. In case you, you are not able to register or you have not received uh, the course credential on your email, maybe you have misspelled your email ID. So uh, the emails are bouncing back. So you do one thing, you directly go to the site. The site name is elearning2.uu.ac.in. This is the landing page. On top right-hand corner, there is a tab login just click on that once you click on that link this page will be displayed here at the bottom of this page there is a link called create new account you click on this it will ask for some information username the username you want for this course you have to remember this you have to set your password you have to mention your email address repeat it your first name your surname, city, and country. Then create my account. Once you click on this, you will receive an email on this email ID that you have mentioned here. You have to validate your account. Once you know you have validated your account, you can log in to this portal, right? Just in case, this is the landing page. Just in case you are not able to see all the courses that are listed. You just go to this left-hand pane. You will uh, find a tab called Site Home. You click on this. It will list all the courses that are available in this portal. And then you can click on this course, Move Online Course Develop Development for Swam. Once you click on this, it will ask, you will find a tab called Enroll Me. Once you, enroll, you click on it, you will be enrolled, automatically enrolled to this course. So now about uh, course delivery mechanism. This course is delivered in asynchronous mode. We have pre-recorded lectures. So it gives you the convenience to access this course at your own pace and at your convenience. Anytime that is convenient to you, you can access this course. We don't have live sessions for course delivery, but we have deadlines for quizzes. These lectures are arranged sequentially, which means you cannot access second lecture before completing the first lecture. Similarly, you cannot access the third lecture before completing first and second lectures, right? Every week, new modules are released. There is a discussion forum and uh, where you can post your queries. And we have two live sessions also, right? Live sessions are live. They are synchronous. All the panelists will be present. You can clarify your doubts uh, in the live sessions and in that asynchronous discussion forum also. 
So for this platform related technical support, if you required, I'm sharing you that uh, support email ID, you can send your queries, your problems, uh, whatever you are facing uh, in this email ID, we'll revert back to you. So this is all about the portal. Uh, hope I have you know introduced you uh, well with the uh, portal. So I request you all to log in to this portal and I wish you all a wonderful learning experience. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Jitendra Pandey, for your interaction with the participants, for sharing how the course content is structured, the course certification criteria, and for providing an overview of how to navigate the course platform. In case any of the uh, participants have any query, they are welcome to post it on the chat box or in the Q&A box, and we shall revert within the session. Okay, now it is my uh, privilege to welcome uh, Professor Ghanta Chakrapani. Uh, Director, Center for Staff Training and Development at Dr. P. R. Ambedkar Open University, under whose leadership this program is being jointly offered. So, may I request Professor Chakrapani to kindly address the participants, please? Would you kindly unmute, sir? Yeah, thank you, Dr. Shifan. Uh, good morning. Uh, a warm welcome to all the participants uh, for this MOOC on uh, course development uh, for SWAYAM. Uh, I'm very happy uh, today because I know it is an overwhelming uh, response from, uh, from the participants uh, across the country. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, let me thank uh, Commonwealth Educational Media Center for Asia, SEMCA, uh, and its uh, director, Madhu Prarji, for uh, giving me giving us this opportunity to launch this program at uh, Dr. B.R. Ambedkar Open University, Center for Staff Training and Development. Uh, as all of you know, Dr. B.R. Ambedkar Open University is the first open university in the country. Now, today we are celebrating the uh, 40th uh, foundation day, uh, 40th uh, anniversary of uh, university. Uh, within the university, CSTD is a staff training uh, unit. It is uh, like a HR development uh, agency for the university, both uh, for both teachers and non-teachers. And first time we are uh, offering this kind of program uh, across the country. Uh, and uh, we are in the last 30 years, of course, you know, you know, CSTD is established in 1992. Uh, we are uh, uh, we have uh, conducted several programs in uh, curriculum development, audiovisual uh, program development. But uh, for the first time, you know, we are uh, entered into this online course management uh, system and online course development uh, programs, training programs. Uh, I would like to thank, you know, uh, Simca team, course development team and uh, course design team, particularly uh, Manas Ranjan Panigrahi, Professor Manas Ranjan Panigrahi. Manas is not just, you know, he developed the course and in fact, he roped us into this uh, entire, you know, uh, offering this program uh, through CSTD and Dr. BRDO. Uh, he, uh, in fact, you know, proposed to have this program at CSTD and, you know, he made all the arrangements to launch this program. And, you know, as uh, just now uh, you, you heard, uh, you know, uh, Jitendra Pandey's presentation. He is another key person, you know, who really uh, making us to deliver uh, this program, uh, this this course at uh, BRU. He is looking after all technical support, you know, from uh, back end. Uh, to entire program, I think you know, uh, Shifan, you know, she is actually, you know, as what she is doing in this present program, today's program. Actually, she is doing this for the last two months. You know, she is anchoring, you know. Uh, 
from Delhi. Uh, she is uh, coordinating with uh, my office and you know my university as well as uh, Semka. Uh, I, I thank you know this team, you know these three people. Apart from Anirban Ghosh, you know already we heard about you know heard him, and uh, he is one of the course design, designers, and you know he introduced this course in in, in his part, and also. Uh, Maithili also, I mean, uh, she is uh, from Stride. She she is one of the course designers, and, uh, and Ashish Ashish from Igno. I, I thank all the people, those who involved in design, designing and developing this program. Yeah, from Dr. B R O U, I assure you, uh, we extend all the support to the participants. Uh, our team is, you know, hard. They are working very hard. Of course, you know, my colleague uh, Dr. Ravindranath is. For the last one week, you know, he is coordinating with the technical team and uh, he is making every all the arrangements here that Dr. B. R. Ambedkar uh, For uh, next two years, uh, definitely it is going to be very exciting kind of a uh, uh, learning experience. And uh, I wish all the participants to uh, have a great time and uh, success. Uh, my simple one request to the participants and uh, this for, for, for this first batch, uh, we got you know very uh, uh, very very great response and then almost 1800 and plus 1850 uh, candidates registered. Uh, I request all the participants to spread this message and you know this is very important uh, kind of training program in uh, in, the, in the present day times you know like pandemic and you know other uh, issues. Of course, in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, of course, in the, across the country. All the education institutions from KG to PG, they are uh, looking for uh, MOOCs and you know, online uh, teaching, learning uh, activity. And they are adapting various online platforms also, uh, uh, choosing various online platforms also. So this will be going to be very, very crucial training program to all the teachers from KG to PG, as you know, my earlier speakers uh, said. So uh, spread this further. Uh, I'm hopeful uh, uh, after this, after successfully, after uh, success of this program, we may uh, have another uh, spells, two, three, four spells, because, you know, most of the people are contacting now today, you know, after closing the date. So we can have that, uh, that also. Uh, and I know for university teachers also, it is uh, going to be very important uh, kind of uh, program. At our university, our uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor, in fact, you know, he is uh, the man behind this uh, uh, today's uh, uh, program. And he not only encouraged CSTD, but also he instructed all the teachers of Dr. B. R. U. to I mean, uh, join, and it's mandatory at our level. And you know, we are uh, introduced to some incentives also for the teachers, those who contribute uh, uh, to SIEM by designing you know, their uh, programs, you know, designing courses and all that. So we are here to uh, always here to support you. You can uh, just you know uh, uh, raise your uh, issues uh, in the chat box, and uh, we 24 hours will be available. Uh, we'll uh, answer you know whatever the query uh, and whatever the problems and whatever the issues you uh, encounter during this uh, process. I once again thank you all for joining and for choosing this course, and also I thank you know Semka. Uh, for uh, you know, giving this opportunity uh, to, uh, to to introduce this program and you know run this program and at Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Chakrapani, for your uh, words of encouragement and your assurance that uh, with your leadership and guidance, this course will have a very successful implementation and it will result in the output that we are looking for, as in empowering our teachers to create and contribute to this whole landscape of online course development, which is so relevant in today's context. Thank you so much, Professor Chakrapani. Okay, now uh, I observe that there are some, uh, some participants have raised their hands. So, so if there are queries, uh, let us just try to address them one by one. Uh, may I request uh, K. Swapnaji to please uh, mention your question. K. Swapna, please. Or you're welcome to type it into the chat box 
as well as the Q and A session. Participants who have raised their hands for a query, you're welcome to type it into the chat box as well or post it in the Q&A box. Any question, any query is most welcome. Okay, so Dr. K. Rani Rajita Madhuri, she has written in uh, expressing her trust that the two week online journey will be a very good learning experience and add to the present knowledge and provide a holistic approach to the program. Thank you so much. Another of our participants has written in saying that no queries, everything has been explained. So, Okay, there is a question. Please display once again the common password. There is a request to share the password once again, please. Dr. Pandey. Okay, I'll type it in the uh, chat box. The default password is capital X, Y, Z, Z, Y and Z are in a small case at the rate one, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pandey. There's another question, whether the quiz will be on the same topic and for how many marks? <laughs> quiz, uh, I mean, Every quiz is uh, developed by you know different coordinators. So uh, I mean, some of the quizzes are of 25. Some of the quizzes have 25 questions. Some of them have 15 questions, and some of them have 20 questions. After uh, you know, in the first week, quiz one and quiz two will be released, and quiz three and quiz four will be released by the end of second week. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pandey. Is the course useful for primary school teachers also? So that is a query by one of the participants. Anyone who is interested in developing online courses, this is useful. Right. Okay. And I think I saw one question about uh, whether it is possible to view the live sessions later on. There was a query which I noticed earlier. Yes. Yeah. I have posted uh, this or the link of this orientation session, the YouTube link on the LMS also. Every live session will have will will broadcast on uh, through YouTube and the link will be available. You can view it later also. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. So another question about the quiz. Would the quiz be based on the lectures? Definitely. Yeah. OK. So I, I, I can see several chat messages expressing the appreciation and support for the program and congratulations for the program. So thank you to each one of you for sharing your good wishes and appreciation in the chat box and we look forward to a very very successful learning journey together okay now one question is uh, as this course is on mooc are you making it in the four quadrant mode so it's an interesting yes. question <laughs> yes yes it is developed in a four quadrant approach so I think that is somewhere a very unique contribution of this course that as a participant, you would get the opportunity to experience the four quadrant approach as you're being taken through this learning of how to design for a four quadrant approach. So I believe that is in a way a very unique feature of this course. Okay. Now, uh, 
there is one query about the FDP certificate. Would it be useful to teachers as an online refresher course? I think the organizer may better answer this question. Yeah. So, so, so for the university who is offering the course, there is, uh, would it be useful to the teachers in higher education as an online refresher course? So if uh, Professor Chakrapani or Dr. Solomon, if you would like to share your views on that. Yes, you know, this, uh, this course, uh, you know, serves two purposes. One is, you know, it, it will empower you and it will give, give new, schools, uh, new skills to you to develop a, a program on SPIM. And as Pandey just now, uh, he explained, you know, you can also develop lessons and courses and uh, it can be placed on your learning management system of your institution or university. Here in uh, Telangana, now the government is uh, thinking, I mean, uh, the, the higher education authorities, they are planning to, I mean, they, they, they are uh, in, a, in a mood to recognize this course as equivalent to your UGC uh, uh, orientation program, orientation, orientation program of UGC. At BRAOU, what we did is, you know, our vice chancellor permitted, uh, uh, issued a circular, uh, making this course mandatory by giving five grade points to each teacher, those who contribute uh, a, a, a credit course, full credit course, five credit course to SWIA platform. If somebody makes after the, uh, going through this course, if somebody design a course uh, and place it in uh, SWIA, they'll get five grade points. You know, this, that is almost equivalent to you know, writing an international journal, uh, uh, a paper in international or national journal. So that kind of initiatives, you know, they're uh, giving uh, by the institutions and uh, governments. Maybe uh, our uh, higher education uh, department and some teachers, you know, they spoke to me and they said, you know, they are going to represent the government and the government also may consider that, you know, uh, that, you know, it, whether it is usefully useful as two terms. One is to upgrade their knowledge, upgrade their skills, and second is for their promotion and other things, you know, they can uh, interact and, you know, they can persuade with the government to recognize the course. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Chakrapani, for that uh, response and the clarification. Okay. So there were, uh, there was a question around uh, provision of lecture notes, which has been answered uh, in the chat box itself. So the transcripts would be provided as also some text modules are provided in the course. Okay, now question about the feedback form. So whether it is daily or one or two per day. So Dr. Pandey, would you like to answer that? Overall feedback of this program at the last of this course. Single feedback form at the end of the course. So I hope that answers your question. Okay, so we don't see any new, okay. Uh, an observation about less courses in mathematics on the Swayam platform for undergraduates. So we hope that in this program, I did see there are teachers from mathematics who have enrolled. So I think this is something which can be rectified at the end of the two week offering. We hope to see more courses in mathematics coming up. At Actually, the it is an opportunity for the mathematics teachers. Mm -hmm. Very, yes, it is an opportunity for the mathematics teachers. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so, uh, I see no further observations or queries right now, but I'm sure that as the course starts, we will have several interactions and questions uh, in the discussion forum, as well as during the two live interactive sessions, which will be held over the next two weeks, one this week and one in the over the next eight to 10 days, uh, we shall be the dates will be notified very soon to all the participants. Okay, one question any assignment given along with the quizzes? Is there any assignment given along with the quizzes? No.
I don't think there are assignments. Okay, okay. So in the last five cycles, we have not given any assignments. Okay, okay. But we encourage uh, teachers to you know go through the useful links, or you know provide their feedback, comments on some policies, regulations. That's all. I mean, no take take away uh, take home assignments type. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Pandey. Okay. So uh, with that, uh, if there are no further questions, and let me take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for your presence in this orientation session today. Uh, Professor Chakrapani, thank you, sir. Dr. Uh, Rabindranath Solomon, thank you. Uh, a very warm appreciation to all the course mentors, developers, and all the experts here today who will be providing support and guidance over the next two weeks. So Dr. Manas Ranjan Panigrahi, Professor Anirban Ghosh, Dr. Maithili, Dr. Ashish Avidhya, and Dr. Jitendra Pandey. Thank you, thank you so much for your contribution in this session today. And we hope to benefit all the participants hope to benefit from your expertise and insights over the next two weeks. So with that, once again, uh, I express my gratitude towards uh, Professor Parhar, Director Senka, and Professor Sitarama Rao, Honorable Vice Chancellor of B.R. Ambedkar Open University, Hyderabad, for this initiative. We look forward to a very enriching learning journey over the next two weeks. And we expect to see several, in fact, like it was mentioned in this session, each and every participant should aim to submit a proposal for online course development on the Swayam platform as an outcome of this program. Thank you so much. Thank you and best wishes for the course as we move ahead. With that, uh, with the permission of everyone who is present here today, I would like to close this orientation session. We, we look forward to further interactions over the next two weeks. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.